We work with New York City artists. Some of them are five years old and live in a homeless shelter. Some of them are 30 and work at Condé Nast. And some of them are 15 and just got off of Rikers Island. <laughs> How could I collaborate with people that I respect and really bring it to another level and do something positive out of it? Uh, so that's where this Art Start program came out of. Um, and really at first it was a conversation that started with me and three other designers that I really respect. Myself and Staple Design, Scott Sasso, who's the founder of 10 Deep and represents the East. On the West Coast, I spoke to Keith Huffnagel about this, who's the founder of Huff. The other one from the West Coast is Mega from Black Scale. The purpose of Art Start is really to nurture. It's to nurture the voices, it's to nurture the hearts, the spirits, the minds of young people in the city that are severely marginalized from you know, our society and from the opportunities that our city has for people living here. Black Scale started when I was working for a brand called Huff. I was actually the general manager of Huff at that time. and. Keith Huffnagel asked a few of us on the team to try out a t-shirt brand. Four t-shirts, you know, later, boom. You know, Huff was kicking me out his door. I was like, yo, you gotta get out of here. It was 2002, I guess. Uh, just wanted to open up a retail store. I was living in Los Angeles in 2001, and then I moved to SF with goals to opening up a retail store in San Francisco. Putting all the things that I saw in New York, LA, Tokyo, and all the things I was into, which was sneakers, skateboarding, streetwear, and putting it all into one shop. The story is I just woke up one morning and I wanted to print t-shirts. I was in college. I had started to get a little bit bored with graffiti and I just it just seemed like the next evolution. And I woke up one morning just being like, ah, I'm gonna print some t-shirts. That's kind of where it started. I wrote a list of names on a scrap of paper. I didn't even get out of bed, wrote down 50 names and just stuck it to the wall and crossed them off over the next coming days. And that was it. 10 Deep was the one that I liked. I started the brand in 97. I was going to Parsons School of Design as a graphic design major. I started just by hand silk screening t-shirts out of Parsons and then um, sort of made 12 and then sold 12 and then made 24 and then sold 24 and kind of just snowballed that into um, what we have today, which is like a full menswear collection. One of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of young creatives do is they take someone that they really admire and then they say, I'm going to be the next X, right? So if they're a rapper, they're like, I'm going to be the next Jay-Z. And I think you automatically sort of are pigeonholing yourself into like an avenue when you say something like that. By putting these like glass ceilings on yourself to say like, I just want to be as good as him, um, you're just sort of limiting yourself. Like it's, I think it's good to have a guide, but it's also good to think sky's the limit. The foundation of our work and what we really believe in is that everything begins with knowing yourself and making choices. So for a lot of young people, they're never given the opportunity to say how they feel about anything. No one's really listening. What happens is if you're not asked and listened to enough, you just stop knowing. You stop asking yourself. So when you're put in a creative situation where you need to make choices about a color or a beat, or you need to, someone asks you, what's your favorite artist? You need to kind of know that. You can't just do what everyone else is saying. Like, we're really asking you, and we're really listening. So, mean it. Yourself to slow.